All right, help me, Jackyapi. Leon Matthews and Machiapi. This is Leon Matthews, and I'm coming from the Carlisle Indian School. And actually, it's a it's an army base now. And um, Carlisle Indian Industrial School was started in in 1879, and it it started the the push to kill the Indian and save the man. And basically, they they think I don't know how many people they think they that died here. But there's a young lady, her name is Rose, and it just has Sue on her. She's a Sue, and I, I would think that she might be from Pine Ridge or Rosebud. But there's Cheyenne and Fox, Sack and Fox, and there's Arapaho, and there's Apache. And there's even one grave here that was from, it, all it says is Mission. So I assume that, that that child came from California. And so, the Carlisle Indian School, you know, was a place where Jim Thorpe came and where he became a, a great football player. And Carlisle used to stamp or stomp some people when they played football. And Jim Thorpe, it said that he used to hit people with his hip when they when they tried to tackle him. But um, the school stayed open till 1918, kind of the the near end of the World War One. And um, after that, it became a, an army base. But this is such a deplorable thing because you had all these children that have basically died right here on this on this army I mean, in the school over here and now it's an army base and and I came here because I believe that that this is one of the the, the most horrible things that could ever happen to Native America to, to the tribes because the tribes were they took our, they stole our children, and then they shipped them. And if you if you stand right here, and if you Google Google Map Pine Ridge, it's like 1,600 plus miles back to Pine Ridge. And imagine, you know, young children coming here and missing their parents and, and feeling very sad. And so, of course, they're going to die because they die of heartbreak, and 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 it's such a struggle. And they have these places there's offerings money and there's there's shells and there's flowers and you know every one of these graves has a fresh flower on it which is beautiful and because I think people are saddened by what what's taken place here but I just wanted to bring you here res ramblings on the road off the res off the res ramblings and um, share with you about this this issue that we've had where the United States government came to our people and stole our children and brought them to places like this. And Carlisle is important because the boarding school started right here. I mean, there are other boarding schools, Haskell and, you know, just different ones. But now it's like, this is where it began. And so we're gonna, we're gonna just offer a prayer and, um, you know, and, and, um, and maybe offer some tobacco you know, because because we're Lakota. But I just wanted to bring you here today because I feel like it's an important place to begin the healing and um, and the sadness here. You know, I I mean I've been I've been going around Carlisle, the town, the last day, day or two, and it's it feels like a cursed city. It's a cursed place. I mean, there are even poor white people here. I mean, the the people that are here, they just seem like they're so saddened and I think that this place is cursed I mean yeah the army base looks beautiful but once you go into the town it, it looks like it's, it's very poor and it's it's sad and there's not much here and I suppose the army base brings a lot of money into this area but um I believe it's probably cursed because of these Indian children you know there's a medicine wheel you know I took pictures of, of all the Sioux graves yesterday and, and it really saddened me. But um, I just wanted to share this with you because this is where it began, you know, and I believe that this is where we can begin to heal as, as Lakota people, Apache, Sac and Fox, Mission Indians, I mean, Arapahoes, Apache, I probably said that again, Cataba. You know, there's a lot of different children here that, that lost their lives because they lost their families. And so it begins right now. And I hope that, um, you realize that 
that we can come to a healing. So this is Leon Matthews with, for, for Off The Res Ramblings, and I hope that you stay tuned for more videos. Have a great day. Until we meet again.